Hey Matt, just ahead of 617 on this Monday, it's time once again to recognize a local nonprofit organization in our monthly Our Community First Award. For the month of March, we get to know a little bit more about the Salvation Army. You know that they have a thrift store that serves the community, but their reach far extends past the shop on Babcock. Let's learn a little bit more. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. I am down by the headquarters of the Salvation Army, and I'm with Lieutenant Rick. Rick, you have been selected as our March our Community First recipient. So I'm gonna hand you this fancy dancy little plaque right here. This is from our friends at First Security Bank. And because of course you are a nonprofit and constantly accruing, uh, accruing extra costs and things like this, a $500 gift card as well from our friends at First Security Bank. So Thank congratulations. Thank you guys so much for this. It really means a lot. That's incredible. Well, Rick, we know the Salvation Army has the thrift store and the, the storefront there, but I know that there's a lot of other things that you do in the community. So why don't you tell us a day in the life of a Salvation Army volunteer or worker? Um, Monday through Thursday, we hand out sack lunches right here. We give the person a sandwich and they can go pick out their own snacks and the rest of what they want to put, put into it. We hand out hygiene supplies. And then I have coats and sweatshirts behind me for even those people that can't afford our thrift store. They can just come in and get, get one in this extremely cold weather we've been having. Also, if it's a really crazy day and things are happening, we have a mobile kitchen and we go out and we help out the sheriff's department and search and rescue and the police department. When they have certain things go, going on, the fire department for all their uh, first, first responders and we make sure that they have food and drinks and everything. If a situation happens, uh, happens in Gallatin County, we can go out and support our first responders. That's incredible. And of course, at Christmas time, ringing the bells. I mean, that's the stuff that we see, but you have so much behind the scenes. So anything else that we should know about? We've already started our Tools for School drive. Tools for School is... Um, program where we partner with a couple different agencies and some business in uh, the community and we make sure that kids have backpacks and pencils and writing utensils and no saying notebooks so that so that they can have the best education experience possible and they don't have to worry about that aspect of it well thank you so much for all the work that you do we appreciate it and, and keep up the good work thank you very much absolutely now another note to add on, all are welcome to the non-denominational church service every Sunday at 11. Sunday school starts at 10. Now to nominate a nonprofit you think going above, uh, above and beyond in our uh, area, log on to kbzk.com, click on the community tab, uh, and that's how we do it once a month. Uh, meantime,